weather forecast yesterday was showing that until 12 we are going to have a good weather at Ocean Road and then it turns a bit cloudy. That's wow. What I saw was the other way around. <laughs> really? Yeah, really? So, uh, <laughs> longer stops around 40 to 45 minutes uh, at these stops. One of these will be uh, on the beach again so uh, if you don't want to go to the beach at the first one you can do it at the Lockhart Gorge. Uh, Everything is very pretty down there. Um, obviously it's probably going to be a bit windier uh, on the coast. Uh, if we're lucky it's not going to rain but um, Yeah, we'll just have to deal with it when we get there, I guess. Uh, if it's raining, I'll try and uh, get back to the bus so I can leave it open just in case anyone's had enough and wants to stay dry. Not too much shelter on the Great Ocean Road. There will be a little bit at the 12 and Mossel stop, but um, uh, it's not going to help you.
be able to see the half line clearly down at the uh, the viewing platforms of there and when we get there. Now another area we're going to visit down this way is a place called Lockhart Gorge. Uh, beautiful area. I'm mentioning this now because when you go to the Apostles or to the Lockhart Gorge area there's lots of bushland around so you've got all the beautiful scenic spots when you get to the end of the walkways but um, scan around as you're walking and uh, hopefully you will see uh, something as well. Also it is whale watching season on the coastline down here. I happened to see my first whale, well I think my first whale ever in Victoria three days ago down here. So um, when you get to the other uh, platforms, have a look out there. As long as everything that goes to plan and I'm unable to get the bus in there, okay. Um, where I pull up the bus, there will be a wooden viewing platform just in front of us. Uh, you can either just hang out on that or you can go to the steps and down to the beach. Um, you will see two rocks on the right. They're just lone rocks, they're not part of the 12 apostles, but they're our two first rock formations. But beautiful views of the coastline to the left as well, all the way down. So um, at least hop off the bus and uh, go to the, uh, the viewing platform. Uh, I'll leave the bus open so if it's um, too windy or you're not loving the conditions, you can uh, hop into the shelter of the bus.
and so extremely uh, windy out here. Very difficult to hold the cameras. Things are flying out.
more just because I have to go back and pick the other people up. So, um, let's say 10 past 1, not back on the bus, but definitely 10 past 1 because uh, we don't want to be pushing our luck uh, any further than that, I guess, with the other uh, daylight later on. It's still going to be quite windy here, I can feel the bus getting shoved into the other lane, so um, if you can do that to the bus, you're going to be blowing around a bit down here as well. found after the sea receded.
the way. Lots of water happening here. I think I've had a lot of rain down this way as well. Um, yeah, so we will make a, a special stop later on. I think it's going to be the stop just after Apollo Bay and we'll have a bit of a walk around to see if we can spot some koalas. But I'm um, driving along here, uh, if anyone's interested, uh, looking out the windows, uh, we usually see a few as well. Quite a healthy population on the Great Ocean Road of koalas, pretty much all the uh, length of it from uh, the Ottawa's down. Um, to keep koalas happy, they need about a hundred of their favourite trees, which is um, eucalyptus. Uh, there are only 11 species of eucalyptus, it makes up about 95% of their diet. Um, it's a very strange uh, source of food for them though. Uh, it's very poisonous to any other animal that tries to eat it. Uh, the koala has a special bacteria inside its gut which uh, they have produced to uh, help them get through the toxins. Uh, it doesn't provide very much nutrition, so um, it's very rarely that you see koalas getting up to anything. They basically sleep around 20 to 22 hours of the day, so just a little bit of feeding here and there. Uh, the one thing going for it though is they get most of their moisture from it. It's very rare that you will see a koala um, drinking from an open source of uh, water, only times of extreme heat or when fires are going through uh, that you will see them doing that. Uh, those times usually people um, leave buckets and tubs of water out for them. Um, yeah, so keep an eye out the window as we are uh, just coming to the next forest area, it's just down the road here. Um, we'll be driving through
lots of nice bushwalking tracks, about two kilometres uh, or so inland. Lots of nice waterfalls as well. So uh, if you were to uh, spend a bit of time down here, um, lots to do inland as well as just on the coast. What we're doing today is kind of a uh, highlights package, I guess, of the Great Ocean Road, uh, showing you some of the more uh, famous little points. Uh, but you can actually spend quite a bit of time here. It's nice to have your own car and going up all the, uh, the off streets uh, and side streets, getting to some of these uh, slightly lesser known uh, places as well. So usually, uh, coming back this way, a little bit quieter than what it's looking today. It is school holidays at the moment, so we've got a lot more uh, cars happening here. This is the polio way. These are the shopping, this is the shopping area of the Polo Bay. There you have a koala on the latched onto a tree, just shying away from us. We are at a stop called Kenneth River.
Yeah, right. Take it in because you're going to sleep in a minute and I wake up right. So there you have a koala sleeping in the branches of eucalyptus tree. So this is the third koala we spotted. Let's have a look. Lazy sleeping out there. Kangaroos.
So here you see kangaroos in the wild. It's hopping. <laughs> Look at that. That's the reason I was asking what time he reached. It depends on what time. If you reach at night, uh, the uh, morning was the city trip and then the afternoon was the penguin. Uh, Look there, Gita. <laughs> Hopping. <laughs>
this is Lorne. We went to the pier. Look at the waves. 